So today is officially my birthday. So I got a few things going on today. I have a, um, a shoot that I have to do. Um, it's not specifically a birthday shoot, but it is a shoot for content and yeah. So I'm pretty much celebrating my birthday this year in Atlanta, getting some stuff done with me and uh, Dondria, finishing up my project working on our project <laughs> her finishing her project it's a lot going on you ain't with the games you cut off the mother new best believe i'm with you and i ain't with no other bitch i'm everything you need and then i hope they don't change you ain't gotta look no further girl i put that on me cause you got the shit that made me want to come back and we got a thing that can't be mad but with you, i'm never playing both sides ain't no need in wasting your time oh, oh. Make me on selection Show you the way love's supposed to be yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. So right now I'm on my third look. I didn't get to show y'all my second look, but you'll see it in due time. But uh, we are in Buckhead shooting. Oh, we did. Show it. But I didn't. I didn't do. I didn't do this. Damn. Okay. Oh, damn edibles. But anyway, um, yeah. So we're now we're doing our third look, and we are most definitely in Buckhead. Nice little little area. Um, stay tuned. Want to get my hair cut right now? This nigga hair looking a mess. Yeah, that. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Today is um just been like a chill day again. I think Sundays is uh, Sundays is a day that I really trying to stop everything, stop moving, get my mind right. And then I think that's on the side of it necessary. It's, it's cool to do that for sure. Um, but today I'm out in these streets. I might go to the mall real quick and give me a little sun something, give me a little one two piece or whatever. But um, other than that, it's gonna be dope. So when they got his hair cut, blue, blah, blue. <laughs> that nigga flip is a beast. Can't nobody do it like this nigga, man. He be getting me right, for sure, yeah. As I go down this journey, uh, going back to Timbuktu, uh, uh, he must be drunk. Yeah, I had to come to the hood, y'all. Had to come to the hood and um, get my hair cut, but it's worth every mile that I've driven. You know, I have friends, you know, a lot of homeboys that are fathers, you know, so you know Father's Day just passed or whatever. I get kind of bummed out, like, eh, wish I could find me. Cause you know, I don't want a baby mama. You know, I don't want a baby mama and I don't want to deal with all that. I want to be married, I want to do it right. So, um, a lot of my homeboys, they have kids. And, you know, I've been, I 
been saying happy happy Father's Day to them all day yesterday. And um, I just feel like uh, if I have if I have any kids at this moment in my journey uh, of you know I'm in I'm in the process of figuring out um, what I want to do with my with my with myself. You know, I'm figuring myself out. I, I, I guess I could say that. I guess I can go back and say that I'm trying to figure myself out. And I know who I am. Well, when I have a kid, I'm most definitely going to put all of my eggs in that basket. <laughs> so I feel like if I if I do bring a kid into the world, that I won't be doing music anymore. Um, I don't know. That just I just think that's more reality for me. Um. Because I, all my focus would need to be on being a father versus trying to, you know, stay in the music game. So, like, now I'm trying to do all this hustling and shit right now for, before I can build a family. And I want to 100% be able to focus on building my family and making sure that they're secure versus me being trying to make trying to chase a bag with the music thing you know I still have my business going on I am coming up with a business proposition for myself it's gonna be lit I'm telling you it's lit it's already in motion but I will I'll tell you about that later however um, but yeah I feel like you know it's either this and it's either going to be that in my world it may not apply to everybody else but in my world it's going to be either or and i guess i'm okay with that um however right now i ain't got no kids i'm gonna go for the gusto and i just you know opportunities keep presenting themselves Opportunities keep presenting themselves just to me, so I just. But anyway, on a lighter note, it's fine, fine Monday. Happy Monday to everybody that's uh, back on the grind. You know the weekend. You know we had Juneteenth and we had Father's Day back to back. You know what I mean. So the weekend was kind of dope for some people. However, in Atlanta. It's been raining, so it's been raining all weekend. Go figure. So anything to fuck up the fun, I'm playing. <laughs> um, but um, I told myself I wasn't gonna go out for Juneteenth because I was like, you know what? Um, if anybody follows ATL Scoop, ATL Scoop like makes you not wanna go out nowhere because it's so many things happening, so many shootings, people getting killed and stuff like for no reason. I don't really got time, so um, I'm, you know, I just stay out the way. Just stay out the way. That's all you gotta do. Stay out the way, and everything will be a okay. So uh, no, but I, you know, I just I take some time to to load my brain with information on 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 things that I need to um, know. As far as getting my business together and um, figuring out what I'm going to do with my album, you know, figuring out what I'm going to do with me and Dondre's album, and I just, you know, that's what I'm doing right now. So, and he, look, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. I'm going to tell y'all something. Atlanta can't, Atlanta people can't drive. Atlanta people can't drive. And they're going to say, oh, no, it's you. It's you because y'all the transplant. You from um, you from a whole nother state, and you are uh, from Texas. Y'all niggas can't drive it out. No, 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 fam, 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 fam. Let me tell you something. On the way, on the way to get my hair cut, somebody was all on my ass, all on my ass. And I'm just like, you know, I'm looking in my mirror and I'm just, you know, I'm trying to play it cool because you know, I, you, you know, anybody who knows me know I got road rage. So, so, I'm just, 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 I'
I'm, I'm looking in the mirror. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in the rear view looking. I'm like, this nigga on my ass right now. You know what I mean? Get off my ass. You know, sometimes I do a pump, pump my brakes and shit. And they'll kind of like fall back. But nah, this, this dude was like, so, you know, he, he tried to go, he go past me. He was behind me for a long, long while, right? So he was behind me and I was, you know, he goes around me and I, I look at his ass, fuck with me in this road. I don't, I, don't, I don't like when people fuck me on the road, man. So I look at his ass and he, yeah, keep, keep looking forward, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh my God, this is like, I hate people who don't know how to drive, man. It's killing me. And I'm going, I'm going to, cause in Atlanta, it seems like, damn, it seems like nobody knows what the real uh, speed limit is. It's like, you say 55, but why are we going 55 on the highway? Somebody need to talk to uh, the mayor and say, hey, look, we need to go ahead and change the, um, uh, to change the speed limit, the, you know. In Texas, the speed limit is 65, 70. Um, somebody just crashed, so let's, let's not change the speed limit because they don't act like they don't know how to drive. So I seen somebody um, go, you know what? I seen somebody crash into the trees and they boat was attached to it to it. I was like, what? What's going on, man? What see that's why I don't be look, I get on the road when it's time to when the traffic done died down. I get on the road when the traffic died down. I I, I can't do that. I, you know I get I get anxiety. You know I be cruising, right? I be cruising so I'm like okay I'm going 70 right now. This is cruising speed for me, I guess. And everybody wants to go, they want to go 106. <laughs> for what? Why are we going this fast? First of all, let me, why are we going this fast? And then they looking at me like I'm, like I'm in the wrong for going 170. Like I'm like, damn, fam, it's the speed limit is two. So y'all mad at me? Cause I'm going over the speed limit? Anyway, it's a it's gonna be an interesting day, you know. Probably hang out with some of my friends, maybe. It depends on how I feel, because you know, these days I just kind of just be want to chill. Um, I don't want to be out places, um, and I show sure ain't going to fucking damn Linux Mall. I can't even go to the mall right now uh, because I have waited too late <laughs> in the day to go get my haircut. So. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not going to Linux Mall. Let me tell you something. Linux Mall, like, people keep getting shot and shit there. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing We're not, we're not. No, 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 pimp. No. We ain't doing that. I, you know, I, and there's a mall close to me anyway, and I, you know, perimeter. I just feel like I ain't got to do all, I ain't got to go to Linux for what? Oh, it's upscale. No, it's upscale niggas in there. They shoot you. Nigga might be in a suit. We can pull out a pistol on your ass. Fucking Glock. Glock on your ass and your ass is brass. <laughs> that rhyme, that was bars. But anyway, uh, I'm not, no, I'm not going there. I'm not going to Linux. You're not going to find me a Linux. That's just, that's just not what I'm trying to do. And, uh, that's that on that. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much in Atlanta for I don't know however, however long I'm supposed to be here, but um, I'm ready, ready to go. <laughs> I live in Dallas and I'm here in Atlanta. I've been here since January, and um, I'm back and forth from LA to here to Dallas like frequently, so. But I drove my car here, so I keep my car here, and I most definitely fly to and from uh, because you know me and Dodger got some stuff popping, and uh, it's a little touch and go. We've 
we have a, we have a lot on our plate, so we're just trying to be able to figure figure everything out. And um, but yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Um, but I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I'm ready to go home, man. I'm ready. Man, a whole apartment in Dallas, Texas. And um, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say that I haven't really, I haven't really been enjoying Atlanta. You know, I got I got friends here. You know, um, I used to live here, so it's just kind of like, but you know, kind of get sick of something. You know, you kind of they need to move around. So that's why I go, I go, I go to, um, I go to LA um, every now and again, just to kind of reboot my system because I get the most, not the lesser, from LA. You know what I mean? So I, you know, when I get there, vibes. I get vibes. I get work done. I get, you know, everything. And and then uh, right now. Not so much. It's cool. It feels like being at home. Like I, 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 I escaped Dallas. So because I had my friends pulling me every which way, and I didn't have any discipline for myself. Um, having my friends pulling me every which way, and you know I was spending a lot of money. Um, so I, I was like, look, let me let me go and be productive. I wasn't productive in Dallas, so I thought there was gonna be, I, I thought I was gonna be productive here. And um, I'm not really that productive here, but when I go to LA, it's on a popping, period. Like I just, you know, um, I'm, I'm a move, I move and shake in LA. I, you know, I make sure that I utilize my time because I spend a lot of money traveling, you know, and I wanna make sure that I'm not wasting my money. Wish she'd bring my shit 